Recently, I decided to get a mail subscription uh, to Archie Comics. I'd uh, been looking at a lot of the um, webs official websites of some of the comics companies like Marvel, DC, and Archie, and uh, was interested to see how much it would cost to uh, subscribe to the uh, comics by mail. And it seemed like they were a lot cheaper than they would be uh, buying them at a comic shop. So the first issue of my subscription uh, just came in the mail. Today's July 12th. And I had ordered, a, if you go to uh, the Archie shop, I had ordered a uh, subscription. And it shows you here, it takes you to their subscription site. And they offer various pre-orders and so forth. But the, um, you know, you can get subscriptions to the, to the Digest. There's like the Archie Universe subscription, which is like the little more realistic uh, Riverdale style Archie stuff. But they have a classic Archie Comics mega sub. So you click that. And it says you get six issues. These are brand new issues. Um, I think they have like one new story and then uh, reprints. And it shows here, there's the Archie. So it says classic Archie mega sub. It's $11.99. Regular retail price would be $17.94. You get six issues and it's for the U.S. And it says the Friends Forever series, which is the Ar classic Archie style, the cartoony looking Archie. Uh, will feature the return of the classic style. Um, you will also receive Archie and Friends as part of the set, the subscription. So you get six issues as they are released. Um, now, I actually only had to pay $8.99, and that includes shipping, because they often run sales. They have various sales going on, and it was like, take an additional you know discount off. So I only had to pay $8.99 for a six-issue subscription. So I was curious, how are these going to look when they come in the mail? Are they going to be all destroyed? You know, why aren't more people doing this? So let's take a look and see how the issue looks. And this just arrived in my mailbox today. So like I said, I ordered, I put a post-it note here to cover the uh, address. It's uh, sent first class. Um, I sent in my eight ninety nine. Uh, I think it might have even been via P PayPal. Um, I sent in it on May twelfth, so today's July twelfth. So it took two months before I got my first issue, but it comes in this sealed thing. There's a little paper insert inside here to uh, where the address label would go. And there's the, whoops, there's the front cover. And it's in this little sealed bag. Doesn't look like there's any damage to the uh, issue. As you can see, it says only $2.99. Introducing this uh, new character, Stacy Banks. So let's cut this open and take a look at it. Got a pair of scissors here. I'm just going to make, here, let's do this. In a previous video, I showed how to open up Doctor Who magazine, and trying to preserve the bag if you know if I want to uh, store it in there. All right. Oops. Get a little more of a cut there. Careful not to cut the issue. Well, still not cut all the way. We'll get one more little cut. There we go. So there's the bag. And there's the issue. This uh, cover is by Jeff Schultz, who... Uh, has drawn a lot of the classic uh, Betty and Veronica comics in, in the Dan DiCarlo style. It's uh, printed on very nice paper, you know, nice shiny paper. He has the credits over here. 
And this looks like a news story drawn by Dan Parent. Again, in the classic, classic Archie style. Looks like it's in perfect condition. So like I said, if you were to buy this at a comic shop, you'd most likely have to pay the cover price of $2.99. Now this issue, when I looked it up on the internet, um, is scheduled to come out tomorrow at comic shops because usually the comics come out on Wednesday. Uh, today's a Tuesday, so I actually got it before it's available in the comic shops, apparently. Because it's the, uh, oh, there's a Josie and the Pussycat story in here, too. Which is cool. This actually looks like a Harry Lucy story. The artwork. Let's take a look at that. Oh no, it says the Kennedy brothers, but it looks like they're drawing the characters in very much in a Harry Lucy style. There's the Josie one. Drawn by Dan DiCarlo. Betty's Diary. That was a series that started in the uh, around 1986, I think, or 985, and ran into uh, the early 90s. And another Dan DiCarlo story with it looks like Cheryl Blossom in there. And the art, I can't. Uh, emphasize enough how much the uh, paper is, uh, you know, the glossy, shiny paper is uh, really makes the artwork stand out. And here's a little sort of, uh, you know, like sort of the official handbook of the Archie universe uh, for this new character, Stacy Banks. First appearance is in the issue you've just read. This issue, Betty and Veronica's summer surf party. And then some ads at the back. So pretty cool. You know, nice back cover with the description. Um, pretty, pretty awesome. So this is, uh, like I said, it's in perfect condition. Nothing, you know, it's all um, not, uh, not wrecked by having gone through the mail. So, uh, Something this is something to think about. I think if you're interested in, you know, obviously if if you're not interested in Archie comics, uh, you know there are other options like Marvel and DC. I've written about it on my blog, and I'll have a link to my blog, uh, uh, to the in the specific entry about sub mailing sub uh, mail subscriptions to comic books. Um, so I'll have that in the description below. But it's a good option, you know, if you subscribed, I've, for example. To uh, Marvel Comics, uh, your typical Marvel comic now runs three ninety nine, but um, w you know, say if you subscribe to Captain America, the uh, total price is like twenty nine bucks, so it's like two twenty five per issue, which is a great deal. I don't know how those come in the mail, but I do know how the Archie ones come. Like I said, this one just came today, and it comes similar to. Uh, Back around 2004, 2005, 2006, somewhere in there, um, I had a subscription to DC Comics to uh, a cartoon uh, series. They had, they, I, they're still being published, in fact, Scooby Doo and Looney Tunes. And the reason I got subscriptions to them were they were really cheap. And they still are pretty cheap. I think they're like 20 bucks for like six issues. And, uh, or maybe 12 issues, can't remember, but it was, it's really cheap. And uh, they came in the same way. They came in this little uh, envelope like that, or this little plastic thing, and with the little sheet on there. And, uh, you know, so that's that. Pretty awesome. I recommend it. You know, I haven't even read this issue, but I can say you're getting your money's worth. Um because, like I said, I only paid eight ninety nine for a six issue subscription, getting brand new issue coming in the mail with like four four stories it looks like, or five stories was it? Five stories. Pretty cool. 
Well, that's that. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it.